Okay, welcome everyone to another live session brought to you on chess.com and this is International Master Daniel Wrench. I hope you are ready for another wild ride. Let's do this. We're going to stick with our Sicilian. We're going to treat these live sessions like we're prepping for uh, real tournament chess instead of tomfoolery. We're going to use these as ways to you know, get Danny back in shape after my dismal sky spice cup performance so here we go uh, this is a Sicilian uh, and I have not committed yet what type of Sicilian I will play here I could probably play the dragon or the knight over my two most popular and uh, effective Sicilians based on what I know uh, but uh, I chose the knight orf as I think it's uh, maybe a little bit more sound and uh, more dynamic and my opponent has chosen to play the Sozin variation of the knight orf well, uh, there's a lot to be talked about here. By the way, we are playing a uh, game in 15 minutes, and my opponent is a pretty strong player. So uh, this should be a this should be a fun game. There, there are a couple different ways to approach this position. The most aggressive of which is just to play b5 here, and uh, White will probably commit within the next move to what type of Sozin uh, he will be playing. White can play the castle short Sozins, um, and, and typically when, when white castles short, white will be trying to drive the f-pawn to f5. And when you combine the power of white castling short, uh, the threat of f5, and the bishop on b3 putting pressure on e6, this is sort of white's uh, positional attack against the Scheveningen pawn structure, which is these pawns on e6 and d6. So did you catch all that? Hopefully you're learning something about this uh, open Sicilian pawn structure in terms of white's plan to castle short and drive the f-pawn. Uh, but the other way to play this is to put the queen on f3 and to put the bishop on g5 and uh, to castle long. White's approach there is much more of a modern day, I'm going to put my king on the opposite side of the board and try to smash you uh, plan. And this is uh, the way most people tend to prefer playing their open Sicilians these days, right? Like most people want their stakes rare. Most people want their open Sicilians with mating attacks, right? So enjoy that. Chew on that one. Um, what exactly will my opponent choose to do? Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's play b5 and put the question to him. Uh, bishop b7 is another way. It's a move order that I've played a few times, as well as queen to c7. A lot of times I'm going to play b5 anyway, but those move orders tend to throw my opponent off, uh, or they can on occasion. Uh, g4, well, he's treating this like this is a carries attack. Well, the problem is that this is not a carries attack. There is one way to sacrifice the c4 pawn, and that is to castle short, and if I play b4, kicking the knight, and then take on e4 with my knight, it's a very dangerous attack. Um, for white. So I wouldn't do that. But in this situation, playing g4 this early, I'm, I'm going to be aggressive here and kind of call his bluff. I don't think this is very good for white. Uh, the exchange of the c3 knight for the uh, f6 knight, I think favors me. I could have probably taken with the pawn too, as those double pawns are typically pretty safe for black in these types of Sicilians. Um, but uh, I don't even see the reason to do that here. I'm going to take with the queen and then now maybe remind him that he has a positional problem with his... Uh, with his development, uh, with the with the weak C pawns on the uh, open C ball, doubled and isolated. By the way, we hope you enjoyed this video demo from Chess.com. Subscribe today to finish this video and get unlimited access to our full video library. Your membership also includes access to Chess Mentor, the most advanced interactive training tool available anywhere. You'll also get full access to the Opening Explorer, Tactics Trainer, and much, much more. So sign up today and get serious about improving your game.